Hello, good morning, and welcome to Theo's Top Surgery Vlog. Ah, if you didn't watch my preparing for top surgery vlog, don't worry, you don't really need it to see this. It's an optional prologue. But basically, right now, today, Wednesday, the 24th, I am getting top surgery! Here's what we got. I have my bed set. I have cookie clicker running. I'm addicted to cookie clicker. Ignore that. Um, I got my pillows set up. There's like a hard wedge underneath all of this. And I laid on it, and it's actually pretty comfortable. So I got the throne of pillows set up. Um, I got the mastectomy pillow also ready, and I have my blanket out of the way so that I can just literally, when I get back, toss into bed. I'm going to move my laptop. Um, I have my bag packed. I got bear, neck pillow, Nintendo Switch, and I'm going to put some snacks in there. Um, I got all the clothes that aren't hung up over there, like my button-ups. I got all the rest of my clothes on the floor ready for me to grab. I got my whole shelf of things ready to go, ready to slay, and yeah. So, we're having a surgery with Mr. Danos this morning. Double incision, free nipple grafts, the whole shebang. I have a lot to do this morning to get myself ready, get in tip-top shape. I gotta take my piercings out, I gotta braid my hair, I gotta, what else do I gotta do? Oh, fun, there's a spider on my ceiling. Great, that's, that's lovely. Um, but yeah, dub surgery time! We are on our way. Woo! I am very hungry. I'm very thirsty. My hair is in a braid like I'm a Viking. And it's really sunny out for seven in the morning because we are in England where the sun is different than the rest of the world. Are you excited? I am excited. I'm nervous too. I'm excited. I have plastic in my face and nothing in my ears. It feels bald and empty, and I hope they don't close. Um, yeah. Da, 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 da. We're here. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. So we're like the only people here, I feel like. Um, like the parking lot's about empty, and this is the hospital. hospital room I have all my stuff just piled on the chair um they separated me from my mother they took her to a waiting room of all the other like moms i guess waiting um yeah i got the gown on i'm allowed to keep my own underwear on which is great and this is the room whoa so yeah waiting for the surgeon or the nurse to come back i don't know i can't tie the back of this so yeah slaying okay we're vlogging yeah we're in the room. Um, uh, Mr. Danis came in and drew on my chest. And apparently my surgery is at noon, which it's like 8 o'clock now, and I'm really hungry. So this is not going to be a fun day of hunger. So blood's done. Nurse came in and gave me my um, compression stockings and everything. I'm apparently going in at 11. So yay watching Scooby-Doo um, on the, the, the TV, and I'm just chilling for like three hours. Guys, I'm so hungry. I am very hungry. Say hi. Hi. I'm so hungry. Surgery's not till 11. I didn't have any since 6 last night, and I'm very hungry. But look, I got drawing on me. So, why is there like a very pronounced vein in my eye? I'm also really tired. I'm tired and I'm hungry, but we're just waiting. It's officially time to start Metopia. Um, I've played Metopia before on the 3DS and the Switch, but I'm starting a new game, a whole new fresh file. I'm having a little Switch with me. Mom's watching TV. No, not yet. Not yet. She's picking out something to watch. Um, I just need something to do while I'm waiting. So we're gonna start up Metopia, and we got Ook here. Um, I made a whole video about him. If you don't know who he is, um, but yeah. Are you so bored? I'm so bored. Me? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm, not. I'm just delighted to be with you. Oh, you can watch Judge Judy. Uh, I'm going to make me, myself, in Metopia. Somebody was on with the first blood test, and so I've had to get a second one, and it, it was the same person who is not a phlebotomist doing it. Um, Mom's eating in front of me because <laughs> she likes to torture me, I guess. I am so hungry. This woman's just snacking on trail mix. Without a care in the world, watching Frasier. 
and I'm over here dying, getting my veins prodded at. Jesus, are you enjoying rough. Fraser? <laughs> you say tough. That is rough. Um, yeah. I did it. It took me into the operating room, which I was like, whoa. Because I hear most people don't even see the operating room. They get knocked out before. And literally, the surgeon came in and I was like, oh, cool headscarf. Because he had like a pride flag like headscarf and he was like thanks and then they're like you're gonna feel woozy and then i woke up and i was like what time is it and they were like half one and i was like and then i drank water and then i came back here and now i'm really tired but i'm not really as hungry anymore and i thought i was gonna be in more pain and that's probably because i'm on a lot of painkillers but it just not it <laughs> Hiccup. It just feels like I've been wearing my binder for too long. I've hiccuped. But, like, the pain-wise, it just feels like, like I've been binding for too long. Like, so, unhealthy binding prepares you for top surgery, but don't do it. Um, but yeah. And that's about it. So. You're gonna sleep now. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep now. I feel like the girl in The Fault in Our Stars with this thing. Have you ever seen that movie? No, but isn't it about somebody with cancer? Yeah, but she has one of these things all the time. Okay. The oxygen thing. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, so it's been a couple of hours now. Um, Mom's gone home just because, like, if I need her, I can text her, and she'll be back in, like, 15 minutes. So I've just been napping a bit. Um, I've had some biscuits. I've had some apple juice. Um, I tried to use the toilet, but then when I stood up, I got really nauseous, so I have a bowl with me now. I haven't actually been sick. Um, I've been watching some Scooby-Doo, and yeah, I'm feeling, like, really good, actually. Like, obviously, I'm in a lot of pain, but it's just, like, really tightness feeling. Uh, surgeon came in. He's coming twice to, like, check on me. He's undone, like, the bottom of the compression binder just so that my stomach is, like, not tight as well. And... Yeah, I'm just chilling in here, a bit sweaty because it's quite hot, but I'm honestly like vibing, just doing okay, like just really tight around my chest. But other than that, like feeling pretty good. So really glad about that. All right, I've been brought some food, had some stuff to eat. Um, yeah, feeling good, feeling a little bit sick now that I've eaten, but not like ridiculously sick, like. Not, like, any more sick than I would feel when I have, like, a migraine. Um, so, yeah, just just still chilling, waiting to go home. It's about 6 o'clock-ish now, so I've been out of surgery for about 5 hours-ish. And just waiting for them to tell me I can go home. That is the sound of my leg things. They have these things on my legs that are keep squeezing them so that I don't, like, get blood clots or whatever. So, slay. It's time to go home. <laughs> it's 8.30 now, so I was in hospital for what? 13 hours? And they've sent me home. I've got a little packet of information and also some paracetamol and codeine. And yeah, it's time to leave. Me. There's a, there's a... So, yeah, I'm feeling good other than the pain in my chest. Um, and we're gonna go home and we're gonna watch the new Muppet show. And yeah. Are you glad to be leaving? I am. Yeah. So let's go home. It's Wednesday night now. It's about almost 10 o'clock. And I'm back home in my bed. Yay. So yeah, got home, watched some Muppets. Um, threw up a little bit. I think I might be allergic to pineapple. That might be a discovery. Because I was feeling fine, like, from the drive and everything. And then I drank the pineapple turmeric juice, and then I threw up. So, I don't think my body agrees with either pineapple or turmeric. So, that's a fun discovery. But I'm not feeling nauseous anymore. Yeah, the pain is getting worse. I took my codeine, but the pain is definitely getting worse i am not live love loving anymore um but yeah it's bedtime this neck pillow oh my god fucking lifesaver so glad i had this neck pillow i'm like so comfortable i'm sat upright um 
uh, like, as much as I can be. And I'm gonna go to sleep. Yay! So good night, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Good morning, everyone. This is, like, not a very flattering angle, but I have, like, nowhere else to film at. I can't reach my phone up. So, it's... Like 6 a.m. Um, well, let's see if I can get a shirt on. I'm feeling pain-wise better. Um, bit groggy because I just like slept, but you know, yeah. Uh, it just kind of is annoying to me this morning that I realized that that yesterday wasn't just some silly little pain, and then I'd be magically fine today. That like no, I'm actually recovering from a surgery for a while. So. Yeah, um, I think my friends are coming over today to see me and stuff, so that'll be fun. Um, I'm gonna try and walk to the tram stop to pick them up. Um, because he said walks are good, he said even tomorrow. Well, yesterday he said that today if I felt up to a walk that I should. So he said getting back to mobility is good, but not to overwork myself. So I'm just gonna see how I'm feeling. And yeah, I did successfully put on a new shirt right now, so that's good. I wasn't sweating too much in the night, um, but yeah, we got a different shirt on. Oh, and I buttoned it completely wrong though, but oh well. I'll take the win. It is breakfast time. Having some waffles. I've had some more painkillers already, and I'm just having some waffles. And still playing Cookie Clicker. Send help. I've been playing Cookie Clicker nonstop for like, I don't know. What's how many months are in like 40 days? However, that long is. Yeah, I'm having some waffles. Ah, say hi. Hi, we're out for a walk. I'm outside. I'm moving. I'm gonna go pick up Ash and Charles from the tram stop. And yeah, I'm walking very slowly, but I am outside. Ash, say hi. Hi, she'll say hi. hi. I've been given a pile of gifts some of which have been opened right we got a bit peckish <laughs> okay <laughs> yes we just, uh... but then i also got a little new friend i'm taking a break with the um compression thing off now um so this is what my chest is looking like about 24 hours post-op woo it's still very swollen um there's dried blood in my belly button but i'm just taking a quick quick break but i'm taking a quick break with it off because i'm in so much pain from this stupid compression binder i don't like it do they know about the socks? They do know about the socks. I still have my compression socks on. Um, and someone was just like, oh, funky socks for no reason. It was just <laughs> I didn't like, say it was for no reason. I knew there would be a reason. Uh huh. I just didn't, I, I asked because I didn't know the reason. Yeah. They're very funky though. They are very funky. So hopefully I won't get blood clots. And yeah, I've had about three codeine today, four paracetamol. I've been taking them in the recommended doses, but I'm still in a lot of pain. I'm taking the autism test. Taking the autism test while I'm recovering. <laughs> we got... Yeah. Uh, what? Make your prediction now. What is Ash's autism score? 140... No, 150. 150. 150. I'm going to say 180 because I got 164 and I think you have more autism than I do. The boys, my boys have gone home now. Um, But it was very nice having them over. It was a good little distraction from the pain because i wasn't really thinking about how my chest was in pain um so it was nice to see them have them over got loads of snacks lots of treats and um i've named my new jelly cat dinosaur boob so this is boob um yeah so just chilling pain wise i am it's bad i don't like it i am in so much pain but i'm doing pretty okay so yeah there's your update Eating some dinner, watching some old Stampy videos, slaying. Day two post-op. I'm two days post-op. I slept a lot last night. I went to bed at like 10 p.m. and I slept in. I slept until six and then I woke up for like 20 minutes and then I went back to bed for like another three hours. So lots of sleep. Um, pain wise, I think it's a little bit better, but I'm in just so much fucking just like agony from this stupid compression binder. Like, I hate it so much. I'm definitely going to take the full two to three hour break that I'm allowed to take with it today because, oh my God, it's driving me insane. I absolutely hate it. Um, 
watching Bluey now. Because you gotta watch Bluey when you're not feeling great. Um, yeah, this mastectomy pillow and this neck pillow, oh my god. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Love them both. Cannot recommend both of these things enough for top surgery recovery. This is, this is great. Like, this neck pillow is single-handedly the reason that I'm able to sleep. And, like, I don't know what it would be like with, without this, because I haven't really had it off, but it is very nice to have. Um, because I feel like it's keeping my chest nice and safe. So, yeah. Um, Charlie's coming back over today because they love me so much, and I miss them. Even though it's been less than 24 hours, and I just... Yeah. So, yeah. Bluey, neck pillow, mastectomy pillow. That's all you need to recover from top surgery. That's my hot take. Say goodbye to the vlog. Bye-bye. They all came to see me, but I didn't film them saying hello, so you just get to see everyone <laughs> saying goodbye. To be fair, though, we surprised you. It was a surprise. <laughs> yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Hello, everybody. It is the end of my second day post-op, and I thought I'd do, like, a proper check-in, just because... I want to take this stupid binder off again. So today, as you saw, um, Charlie came over and then, and I knew they were going over, but then who comes up my door but it's Molly and Robin. So the whole gang was here today. They came over this afternoon. Um, Pain-wise, it's not that bad. Like I'm not in that much excruciating pain. It's just, I fucking hate this compression binder with my whole mind, body, and spirit. It is not fun. I do not like having it on. Like, my actual chest itself really doesn't hurt that much. It's just this stupid binder. Like, oh, it feels so good. So, yeah, it's, this is what it is looking like two days post-op. It's this fucking binder is causing me so much pain. It is nice to breathe. It is nice to breathe. I'm allowed to take it off like this to like have a breath and have a minute. Um, but yeah, this is, this is what my chest is looking like. Ah! You're gonna, yeah. Um, so it is still very swollen, I feel like. And like when I have this binder on, like it still feels like like, I have tits, like, it still feels, because it's just so tight, and it's so constricted, and obviously, I don't really have any feeling of, like, my actual chest, it's all, like, local anesthetic, like, it's, like, numb, like, I can feel, like, this, and, like, my fingers can feel the bandages when I do this, but I can't feel anything, but I'm assuming my nipples are under these somewhere, and, yeah, I'm just sorry, I'm just, like, looking at my chest and the thing, I haven't really... It's difficult to see it from down here, but like, oh my god. This is like my first time like properly looking at it, like not from just like this. So yeah, it was nice having my friends over today. Um, they brought me some donuts and stuff and it was very nice. Yeah, I would say pain-wise, it's okay. Like pain-wise, everything is okay. It's just the discomfort of this compression binder that is driving me insane. Like, it's, like, imagine wearing a binder that's, like, even tighter than a normal chest binder is. That's what this basically is. Like, this is, like, a medieval torture device of a binder, basically. So, it's, yeah, it's really awful to breathe, and it's, like, digging into my sides, and I'm not loving it. I'm not loving it at all. And, yeah, I honestly think the most brutal part of this two weeks is just gonna be this stupid binder. Because mobility-wise, like, obviously I have very limited mobility with, like, moving my arms before I can like start to feel it like not go well but I feel completely fine in every other way except for the fact that I have like basically the world's tightest corset on all the time but other than that like look at this guys I have a flat chest this is fucking insane this is absolutely insane I've just been playing Metopia watching some YouTube, um, you know, chilling, just having a chill time. Slept for about 10 hours last night. Um, I woke up a little, I woke up at six and then went back to bed, but I've slept for about 10 hours last night and I keep having naps in the day. So I'm sleeping a lot. I'm a very sleepy person. Yeah. Like I can't feel this. Like I, my fingers can feel it, but my chest doesn't feel it, which is weird. But yeah, um, recovery is going good. I would say other than the fact that I fucking hate this binder with every like 
Oh my god, it's horrible. It's horrible. It's absolutely horrible, you guys. But, oh well, I'm just gonna sit here and breathe for a minute, put it back on, and then go to sleep. I need to also wipe off some of the marker and the stuff. I need to, like, at some point do a full wipe down and have, like, a pseudo shower without getting in the actual shower. But yeah, hopefully by the end of this two weeks, I'm gonna have, like, such good abs because I'm, like, using all of my core strength to, like, sit me up and down, basically. But yeah, this is what the chest is looking like. Very cool. Day three post-stop, and I finally have the stupid socks off. They were driving me crazy, but now my legs are free. Today is day three post-stop, and I am losing my mind. I hate this compression binder so much. It is so awful. I, I have genuinely no idea how I'm supposed to do this <laughs> two weeks. Like... I literally, I got top surgery so that I could stop binding, and now I have to face, like, the fucking final boss of binding before I can never wear a binder again. It's so tight, and it's so horrible. However tight you think your binder is right now, this is so much worse. It's so much worse. I, I, oh, it's not fun. I'm not having fun. I woke up at 3 a.m., like, just in pain, and I had to take it off and, like, breathe for a minute. And then I went back to sleep, and it's just, I'm not, I'm not having a good time. Literally, pain-wise, everything else is fine. Everything else is completely fine. It is just this one compression binder. Oh, so yeah, just laying in bed, just chilling. Today, fun fact, is May 27th, which means one year ago today is when I saw My Chemical Romance live. So it has officially been one year since i have seen gerard way in the flesh so i might listen to some of my mcr cds today and stuff um yeah it's crazy that that was one year ago yeah if you had told me that a year that like when i was in that pit that a year from that day i would be recovering from top surgery i would have been like what so yeah but don't tell him that recovering from top surgery requires you binding so tightly for two weeks oh but at least i have my socks off so yeah i think today my big hurdle is going to be to shower shower i'm going to clean this binder because i am allowed to put it through the wash and then clean the rest of me because i'm starting to get a little stinky a little stinky binky so yeah it'll be really nice to have the break from it while it's in the wash day's quest is get clean. And that starts with cleaning its god awful binder. Once I get this off, then I can use my wipes and wipe myself down. And yeah, as you can see, I've not been buttoning the bottom bit of it because it's just so tight. And then I literally can't breathe if I have the whole thing done. Ow. My shoulders are so much broader than I thought. Wait, what the fuck? Oh my god. I am shirtless, guys. Holy shit. Ah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this is slang. Okay. Ignore my hunch. Um, I have exercises and stuff. I have a little workout routine to get into once I have mobility to try and fix my posture. I know it's bad. But like, oh my god, guys. This is my exact perfect scenario i really thought that i was gonna hate my hips after top surgery but my shoulders are wider than my hips so now i don't care oh my god this is my first time being properly shirtless so let me enjoy this for a minute let me enjoy this for a minute holy shit oh my fucking god oh this is gonna look so good when i'm like not at like a fucking 90 degree angle all right let's fucking go it looks so good and it's, like, not really, like, bleeding that much. Like, I don't have any drains in, obviously. Um, I feel like it looks really good, but I... So let's try and get clean. But first, let's put this in the, um, what's it called? The wash. Oh my god, guys, look at that. It's, like, powdery and all gross. Gotta clean this, gotta clean this. Success! I just put that, I just turned my whole washing machine on with my fucking foot. Like, I got my foot out and did the whole thing with my toe. Like, talk about, like, monkey brain. Like, slight Dio. Now it is time to 
to clean. Gonna get a new shirt, new shirt alert, new shirt. Got it. Whoop, my shoulder just cracked. Hooray. Hey, everyone. It's currently about 1 a.m. on Sunday, and I've been up for about an hour or so because I just can't fucking sleep in this binder. I don't know why it's becoming harder to make it through the nights. Um, oh my god. It's like itchy. It's so itchy. Everything is just like itchy and uncomfortable. And I can't breathe. And it's like digging into my sides. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this for like a week and a half more. Like what the fuck? It's like obviously I'm happy that I've had surgery, but like, guys, it hurts so much. I, like, I'm just so, so uncomfortable and miserable all the time. And like, during the day, it's kind of okay because I can like distract myself with stuff and like people come over and they distract me and I don't really think about how uncomfortable and awful this binder feels. But like, but like, like now, like at night, like, like nothing. That really helped. I'm like, I've put on videos, like, I, like, dead, nothing works. So itchy and miserable and sad, and I don't know what to do. Like, this is literally just gonna have to be my life for the next week and a half and a bit. Don't know when this is going to end. It's so itchy. Why is it so itchy? Like, I just wanna, like, rip all the skin off. Like, it, oh my god. Like, I don't know if this is normal, or I don't know if I'm, like, allergic to, like, the adhesive. I don't think I am. I don't think I'm having any type of reaction to it, because my skin looks fine. It just feels like, 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 everything is screaming. Like, I hate it so much, and I don't, I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to do this. Like, I don't know I'm meant to sleep. I, I don't know if I should get, like, sleeping pills or something so I can just sleep through it. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. Because I can't sleep with it off. I'm only supposed to have it off for, like, a maximum of, like, two or three hours. And also, like, I don't... Even though I like having it off, I don't feel very secure with it off. Like, I definitely... There is a little bit of relief when I put it back on. Like, okay, I'm not gonna, like, fall apart now. So, like, mentally, I'd much rather sleep with it on because then I know I'm not gonna, like, rip open in the night. It, it hurts so much. Like... Like, right now, sitting here, I'm not really in that much pain. Like, I always say I'm in, like, no pain whatsoever. It's just everything is itchy, and then as soon as I put on the binder, I'm in pain. But, oh my god, why are my armpits so itchy? Oh, fuck. But, range of motion, look, I can lift my arms all the way up here. Isn't that crazy? I don't know what I was expecting healing-wise to be the worst part, but it is definitely this binder. Like, everything else is fine. Like, I can get stuff for myself fine. I can get comfortable fine. Like, comfortable in every other sh sense of the word. Like, everything else is fine. It's just this. Day four post-op. It's so fucking itchy. I'm gonna kill myself. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Oh my god. This is like when you get like a tattoo and it has like the itchy phase, but my whole chest is the itchy phase and there's not a tattoo. And even when you get a tattoo, you can get it wet, like, or you could put pressure on it. Like there's so many things you can do for a tattoo that I can't do. And it's also so much worse. And I'm gonna kill myself. I hate that. This is horrible. <sighs> Day four post-op, I'm doing my little mobility stretches, and, um, I don't know why it looks so concave, but it's just my life. Um, and this is about the farthest I can get my hands up. So, yeah. I, I don't know why my body's at, like, such an angle, but it's, it's probably because I'm skinny, and then also just because I'm, like, I, like, I'm, I'm like Mr. Burns. I, I look... So silly, but 
Yeah. Um, I was a little dramatic last night. A little bit dramatic. But I'm not feeling better today. Um, but yeah, it's so fucking itchy, guys. It's getting so itchy. Uh... Got a new strategy. So, I've tightened it the tightest it's been so far. That way, throughout the day when I can loosen it a little bit, it'll feel like such a big relief, but it won't actually be that much looser. And then I've also got some wet wipes um, under the armpits to try and make that feel a little bit better. And this is the best I got, best I got for trying to make it through this. It's Sunday evening and we're out for a walk and they can't stand up straight and everything itches so much. But I'm mobilizing, mobilizing and trying to be active. Um, I've been watching Amphibia all day. I'm halfway through season two. Um, because I've never seen it before. It's pretty good. Um, I don't trust Marcy, though. Just because I've seen tweets with her in them. And she does not look, like, very nice. Um. So, Mom's here to say hi. Hi. And I'm doing a great job walking and filming. Yeah, you are doing a great job walking and filming. I partly think I'm gonna run into something. Yeah, it's we're not gonna run into anything. So okay. You can stop now. Wait, let me go back a little bit and give you more. Don't stand in people's road. <laughs> hey guys, day six post op. Been doing nothing but watching Amphibia. Why the fuck is RuPaul in Amphibia? <laughs> What's going on? We uh, lost it to recover. We literally, but like, what the fuck? Like, so far in Amphibia, a child has died. Anne has, not dead. But, she's not dead. But Anne went home after seeing her friend die and didn't even tell her parents that, hey, your daughter's dead. Yeah, she's not told Sasha's parents that Sasha's stopped in another world. She's not told Marcy's parents that Marcy is dead because as far as Anne knows, Marcy is dead. Yeah, like, Anne is already, like, on her crazy shit era with, like, not informing anyone about the other two missing girls. And now RuPaul is in the government. We're not just saying this because he looks like RuPaul. Listen, this is RuPaul. You're the best. RuPaul is- why is RuPaul an amphibia? And why is he a bad guy working for the government? Why is RuPaul a cop in Amphibia? <laughs> who I'm assuming is going to be like our villain for like the mid-season. What the fuck is going on? Okay, as you just saw there, um, you probably assumed, but literally for the past three days, I have been doing nothing but watching all of Amphibia, and I've finished it now, um, my official review is that it's pretty good, and I liked it. Um, I still think the best of this modern era of cartoons, like, the absolute best, is Keep on the Age of Wonder Beast, if you're not, if you've not seen it, it's on Netflix, it's so fucking good, but Amphibia was also pretty good, and I enjoyed watching it, it was a good thing to pass the days with. Um, update-wise on this binder and how I'm feeling with it, I'm definitely a lot more used to it now i'm still like waking up in the night and such like it is still like very uncomfortable and i'm not loving it but i'm definitely a lot more used to it just like getting used to wearing it and stuff so i don't think this next week will be too difficult as this first one has been and yeah this has been me getting top surgery in the first week of recovery um next week i'll be uploading the second week of recovery slash the reveal when i go get the dressings taken off then you guys will actually be able to see my chest and so will i so yeah all that and more in a week so if you're not subscribed if you just happened upon this video um, make sure you're subscribed so that you can see that. As well as that video, I'll probably also be doing, like, a Q&A or something around six or eight weeks post-op, just answering all your questions and stuff with top surgery, and the healing process, and, like, showing off my chest, like, once it's more healed. And you'll probably just continue to see my chest in videos anyway, because I'm probably gonna look for any excuse to be shirtless. So, the best way to see my updates is to be subscribed, or also to follow me on Instagram, because I have already posted shirtless selfies on Instagram. It has already begun. I haven't even seen my nipples yet, and the, the slut era has already begun on Instagram, so make sure you are following me on Instagram. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a week with more top surgery, recovery, antics, and such. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, thank you for all being here, um, and all of the well wishes from all of you um for my surgery it's been very nice and yeah thank you to all my friends who have come to visit me 
Um, it was very nice seeing all of you, and I'm very appreciative when any of you come over to see me and stuff because it helps a lot when I am in so much discomfort all the time to have someone to have like people to distract me and also to just remind me that I uh, like people care about me that's so crazy um yeah uh not much else I have to say um because I don't know what questions you guys have that'll be in a different video and yeah I'll see you guys in a week or so for part two but thank you for watching part one I know it has been very long but yeah thank you for watching it anyways